Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Rocket Craft Season 2. It has been a little while, hasn't it? I did actually take a whole month off from making videos and stuff like that. I've still been playing the game, but I did decide to take January off. But we're starting this episode off in the ocean near my base, which is not usually where you would expect to find a spider, but... This is the first time I've tried out this mob animations pack that uh, a few of the other players on the server has recommended to me. And yeah, I I'm really loving it. The, uh, the models have been updated for most of the mobs in the game and the way that they move and stuff has all been changed as well. And this spider in particular is looking really gorgeous. The squids as well, wow. Look at the fluidity of those arms. Here's a drowned. They have like better movement and better swimming animations as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm liking this. This is really cool. I mean those tentacles, I mean, who couldn't just sit there and watch those just all day? Oh well, uh, apart from drowning, obviously. I got completely lost there and completely forgot about I need oxygen. Is there any other mobs apart from that spider that we can show you over here? Well, there's some, there's some normal squid. Obviously, a lot of the other basic mobs like fish, there's no, there's nothing you can really do with them. But look at the, look at the squids. They look absolutely glorious. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is magical. I'm really impressed with this. I'll put a link to it in the description. This, this particular uh, mob animations pack because. It's really cool that like a lot of the mobs have been updated and over the next coming episodes I'll, I'll show you like odd bits and pieces that I notice. There is one issue though and that would be the uh, the mushrooms and the brown mushrooms. For some reason, whatever that may be, the, uh, the mushrooms that are supposed to be on their heads are completely floating above them and it looks really weird and a bit goofy. But... I, I feel like I could put up with this. I mean, they'll probably put out a fix to the pack at some point. It's probably something really simple. But, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of kind of impressed. Apart from, obviously, the floating mushrooms. But if you can, if you can overlook that one slight little niggly, diff, like, niggly sort of error, then, um, then I would thoroughly recommend this. It, it makes the, uh, the mobs on Bedrock look, look so much better. Right, so moving on from the mobs and their better animations, I've done a spot of caving and I've been looking around under some particular biomes, specifically uh, mountain biomes, because I am in search of Minecraft's rarest naturally spawning block ever in the game. And that would be, you all know it, the Deep Slate Emerald Ore. And, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that we have found just that. This one right here is the mystical, mythical unicorn block in Minecraft. It's the Deep Slate Emerald Ore. And I'm going to claim this one as my own. I've been doing, I've been looking for quite some time. I was mining, I was looking around all these sorts of levels. Is there any more than the one? No, it doesn't look like there is. But one is better than none. And this one is mine. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treasure this. I'm not going to be giving this up in a hurry. And uh, yeah, I, I, I challenge anyone else to, to go and find one of these for themselves. Obviously, you've got to be looking under a mountain biome. And you've got to be looking at around about the right level. But they are out there. They do exist. But they're just very, very rare. And like I say, this did take me quite a few hours of caving and mining, but uh, but it was totally worth it. So that was the good news. The bad news, though, is that my beloved fortress farm has not been working for quite some time. Despite my best efforts at trying to work out why exactly mobs aren't spawning in it, I've not been able to work it out. I've, I've deconstructed it and ripped parts apart and tried to move the spawning spots and anything I could think to try but nothing has worked and it's it's broken my heart I, I love this farm it's one that I spend a lot of time AFK at and 
you'll see from the storage, uh, I mean, I have emptied out a fair amount of it. I, I never empty out the Magma Queen, but there's a lot of Wither Skulls because it, it, it was pretty good for those. Uh, over a double chest worth, um, and I have removed a few as and when I've needed them, but I mean, let's be honest, who needs that many? And it, it, it produced a decent amount of coal and bones as well, and blaze rods, of course. And uh, yeah, quite quite a few bones. Uh, I have emptied this this out in between, like testing it and seeing why it's not working, but just not able to work it out. It just is a mystery wrapped in an enigma, and I, I cannot get my head around why this has stopped working since around about 1.19. And so I, I thought, oh well, I'm gonna have to just abandon this this farm it, it like I say it's not spawning anything in it really and uh, so we're gonna have to look to like build something else instead so that's just what I've done I've come to a different part of the same fortress and, uh, and I've set up this little spawn area here now it is not optimum at all really it's not the greatest but this was the best I could do so I went through the same process that I went through before working out the spawning spots in a creative world uh, with some command blocks and stuff that showed exactly where the spawning spots for the skellies were and we've now got this mechanic that popped up in 1.19.40 whereby withers can now spawn on a spot where there is a wither rose and it means that only they can spawn because how um, they have this unique property that means that they can spawn on the Wither Roses and nothing else can. So as long as I spawn proof everything else in this area, then we have at least got a working Wither farm again. So yeah, uh, it didn't take me too long to get all the Wither Roses required for this. It's just a bunch of Wither fights and spamming a load of chicken eggs in there. And yeah, this, this area here that I've worked out is just about going to do what I need it to do. So I've just got to build it out a little bit more and we've got to put in a couple of piglins in some specific spots to lure the wither skulls in. Uh, the wither skeletons, that's what they're going to become though, they're going to become wither skulls. But the wither skeletons are going to be lured in by a couple of piglins. So this is an updated farm that Silent Whisper has put out recently and... Um, yeah, like I say, I'm hoping that it's going to be able to uh, to answer my my prayers because I, I'd like to have another working with a skeleton farm because I like the coal that this thing produces more than anything. I'm not really that fussed about the skulls. I've got more than enough of those, but I do have a shop that sells coal and I would like to be able to restock it at some point soon. And this should hopefully answer my needs. But we're going to need to do a heck of a lot of spawn proofing because that last farm, I spent a lot of time spawn proofing all of the nether around it and I've had, I'm have i going to have to do the same with this one uh, because it is in a completely sort of separate part of the nether that hasn't been spawn proofed and of course we're in a crimson forest biome so hopefully I won't have to go too far before I can find some piglins to populate this farm. We only need two so we've got some chest boats and of course we're going to need to wear some gold armor because otherwise they're just going to get upset with me and of course on bedrock you can pull the, the boats around with a lead so that's exactly what i'm going to do and that's that's saying it's one thing that's the easy part actually doing it in practice that's going to be a completely different kettle of fish and i've got to try and work out a way to get them over here to this uh this part of the fortress that I will probably block off and make it so that nothing can spawn over there. But in the meantime, we're going to have to build up this platform and make it so that I can drag a boat over here relatively painlessly. Of course, this is the nether, so anything can go wrong. A, a rogue ghast or piglins that object to me borrowing their friends. But you, you look like you'll do. Would you like to jump in this boat? Of course you would. And, oh, look at that. Because we ideally want some guys that have got swords. Mm -hmm. And these two fit the bill perfectly. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for being so compliant. 
and you and you i appreciate it i really do appreciate it so yeah uh the crossbow guys are no good because they'll just start flinging arrows at the wither skeletons and pinging them around and they won't be able to fall down in their holes properly the sword guys are just what the doctor ordered so yeah we're gonna have to drag them along well not too long but a fairly long way not something i'm looking forward to mob moving is not my speciality but a thought did occur they're going to despawn if i go too far away but they won't go too far if i throw some armor at them that i just borrowed from some of their friends yeah so now those guys are not going to despawn and that's how this mechanic should work they should only ever become persistent when the player gives them an item, not when they pick up some random junk that was left behind by a dead mob. That's something that Mojang desperately need to fix. Mm -hmm. It's not so much of an issue with the piglins, it's more the drowns and the zombies that this affects. But anyway, I digress. We have got... Oh, we're off to a great start. We have got a long way to go now with these piglins. It's it's a hundred blocks, but it's going to feel like a thousand. And of course, I've got to be mindful of the hoglins. Not so much the piglins, because I'm wearing gold armor. But the hoglins could definitely ruin my day. And yeah, like I say, this could take a little while, and we've got to traverse a few ups and downs. The downs are fairly straightforward. But I'm not looking forward to the ups. And of course I've got to be quite careful about not damaging these guys by dropping them too far in one go like that. Um, they don't have the most health out of any mob in the game. So we're going to have to be really careful about this. And like I say, I've got to be mindful of other mobs around here. Right now, yeah, this is the the problem I was explaining a minute ago. Going upwards in a boat. Whoa! And I think I'm in trouble. Oh, no wonder I can't fly. I'm not wearing my elytra. Being able to take off out of lava is clutch. But that was close. Obviously, I've got a totem as well, so we're not in too much danger. But... I do have my gold armor back on, so hopefully uh, he won't stay too angry for too long. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now this, this apparently will be fixed in a future update, whereby they'll forget about aggro once you do put your gold armor back on. But we are in serious trouble here. Oh, I can hear a hoglin. Right, anyway, now that we've dealt with the hoglin uh, by flying away and then coming back, we can just casually just build a little platform along here and just drag them along into the farm we're not in a rush we've got all the time in the world I'm just literally just paranoid about the uh, the ghasts because they are annoying so yeah I'm just gonna just gonna carry on doing this for a minute and we have finally got them over to the edge of the farm come on piggy let's let's get you in position I don't know whether it would have been a lot quicker and easier to just lure them over with not wearing my gold armor and just get them to chase me the whole way. Kind of risky, but and especially if they're not going to lose their aggro even when I do put the gold armor on. But um, that that should be being fixed soon, so I'll keep you posted on that one. But yeah, now I've got to try and work out how to get them up here, which is going to involve some some maneuvering and some block placing. Yeah, so if we just block up like so, with this boat on a lead, and go up a bit more. Yeah, he's coming up with us. Oh no, don't don't go under the glass. No. Right there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, where are you? There you are. Okay. Can you bounce on top of that glass? Are we going to have to go higher? If I go over a bit more? 
yeah, like I say, this is not my area of expertise. Come on, come on, guy, you could you could do it. You could do it. Just bounce a little bit further. How about now? No. Oh, you're so close. There we go. Oh no no. Oh, of course. Right, of course, of course, he would go too far over. Um. Oh, that was lucky. That yeah. was lucky. And now if we... Ah, there we go. Left click, I think that was. Right. A little bit of jiggery pokery later. And he is in the right position there. He's over the hole. And the Wither Skeletons are just not going to be able to help themselves. They're just going to be attracted to him. Like a moth to a flame. And then they're just going to plop down that hole. And into a Trident Killer. Which I haven't built yet. Um, and of course, yeah, this, this Nether Fortress does present some other challenges, which I'm going to get into in a moment. But of course, you know, you know you want to build a farm like this over a lava lake, because then you don't have to spawn proof half as much of the terrain around you. You knew that already, though, didn't you? Yeah. So anyway, with that in mind, we're going to get the other piglin into position. Hello. Are you ready to become part of my farm, an integral part of the farm, we, we're going to we're gonna make some coal. Yeah, you love coal. I love coal. We all love coal. Right, let's go then. Um, yeah, this is pretty much going to be a rinse and repeat of the last run, except this time I've got all the, the platforms in place that I need to drag you across. So hopefully this should be relatively painless. And we can... It, does, does it matter if you go down there? No. No, we're, we're good. We're good. Right. Sometime later. He's in. And of course... Of course, you know, I said we're in a crimson forest biome. So of course, while we've been away, loads of piglins have just been spawning in here anyway. So, completely wasting my time. Thanks, piglins. But anyway, this one... Ooh, careful. Careful. I think that was the first damage he's taken, though. Yeah, it would have been handy to know that they could have just spawned in, like like they are, just casually just spawning in everywhere, the piglins, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, man. How far do you need to go? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Look at the other ones just looking at me like, what, why did you go to all this trouble to get him when we're, we're right here? Because you weren't here a minute ago. There we go, we pop that off. So of course we're using chest boats because it means that no one else can ride shotgun with them. And that is that is the piglins in. I mean, uh, that was the bit I was dreading the most, but it was sort of not too bad. So you remember how I said we were above a lava lake? Well, now we're in that lava lake. And the problem I've got is I've got to build a sorting system and a trident killer down here in the lava because we need to be at least 24 blocks away from where the wither skeletons are going to be spawning. So this is like the base of the fortress down in the lava lake and this is below one of those drop shoots that the wither skeletons are going to be falling down. So I've popped potion of fire resistance and I'm just sort of just casually wading around in here now um, and this is what I've got so far. and. Uh, it needs to be a lot bigger, basically. So we'll build up the drop shoe a little bit. Uh, I'm just using nether brick just to match it in with the rest of the fortress, really, so it's not so obvious what's going on down here. And uh, down there, we're going to have to do a lot of sort of lava filling by like placing in all the blocks and then mining them out again. And it was a massive pain in the bum. But it's all complete now and Chef's kindly come over and he's agreed to stand in the AFK spot while I jump up the top and see what the spawns are like for this farm. Now we we're, were literally sorting out just the bones, the coal and the wither skulls and yeah like I said we're about 20 blocks down. Turn on the trident killers, they're a bit noisy and Chef's just going to sort of stand in the spot the AFK spot and yeah let's let's pop up top and see exactly what's going on up here the piglins are upset because I'm not wearing my gold armor now and of course we now need to 
unblock these wither rose spawning spots where the uh, the, the nether fortress spawning spots are because if you know uh, from playing bedrock uh, our structures have like hard-coded spawning spots so it's not just random spots in the structure that they can spawn on it's very specific spots and you want to try and find an area that's got a good concentration of them and this was the best I could find but it should be it should be plenty. Now I just need to go around and spawn proof all of the rest of the spots in the fortress that's in this little section that I've created with anything that you can spawn proof with. I like stone buttons because they're very cheap, very easy and they don't look too bad. And we're just going to be basically covering the whole floor except with the rose spots in stone buttons like this. And that is the farm complete believe it or not ladies and gentlemen i know you can't believe it and we've got our first with the skeletons spawning in and yeah they're sort of managing to find their way down just about yeah those ones those ones fell down um but i haven't done any spawn proofing yet so i'm not expecting sort of miracles when it comes to the uh, spawn rates didn't get it. Um, not yet, anyway. But we need to do a bit of spawn proofing. But the basic farm is done. But as you can see, some of those wither skeletons aren't falling down. So I might ditch the trap doors or the coral fans and sort of rejig the piglins above it so that they're a little bit more over the hole or less over the hole. I don't know. We'll, we'll have a little play around and uh, hopefully we'll get it so that they literally just fall down um, which shouldn't be too difficult right so I've AFK'd this thing quite a bit now uh, I've been down here for a few days and any time that I've got AFK in the world I've spent down here and hopefully hopefully we've got a good yield from the farm I, I did rejig the piglins up the top and the skeletons are falling in no problem now so yeah we've got we've got coal for days we've got bones coming out the wazoo and we've got wither skulls look at this that's all coal blocks that I've converted up because this thing makes so much coal and I do love farming coal for free and yep bones more bones than I know what to do with so yeah another double chest with the skulls and I mean I don't really have much of a use for them I've probably got more with the skulls in this world than I will ever ever need but uh, I haven't built a farm for a little while and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to try and fix a farm that had stopped working so yeah here we are but it was worth the effort I'm sure you'll agree because um, yeah, we got we got wither skulls anyway. Um, blazes, that's another problem for another day. I will look into just finding a, a blaze spawner somewhere probably and doing something with that. But that is the end of the episode, guys, and I do hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry it's been a little while, but like I say, I just wanted to take a bit of time off in January. So yeah, if you did like it, share, subscribe and comment and like, and I will see you for another episode very soon. So take care and bye for now.